Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I am Swaroop Nadella. So today we'll see the program on number patterns. So we want to print uh, two types of number patterns today. Uh, the first pattern is 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is our first pattern. So the second pattern is 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 3, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. So we need to uh, achieve these two patterns. So let's get started. So since we have five rows in each of the pattern, I'm declaring int n equal to five. So we can observe from these patterns that uh, these are two dimensional patterns. So uh, each and every row, uh, we have rows and columns. So if you see the first row is having one column, second row is having two columns, third row is having three columns, fourth row is having four columns, fifth row is having five columns. In order to achieve this two dimensional pattern, which is having rows and columns, we need to be using looping statements. So I'll write a initial loop like int i equal to one, i less than or equal to n, i plus plus. So this for loop will be taking care of the uh, printing the values in the rows. So since this is uh, every again uh, every row is having two columns, so we need to be using additional for loop inside in order to navigate through each and every uh, column element. So I am going to declare int j equal to one j less than or equal to uh, here if we are giving uh, n means uh, every row will have five five uh, elements so we should not have the five elements in each and every row in the columns so we should be giving the i value in case of j so if we are in the second row two elements are there if we are in the third row three elements are there so for that reason j less than or equal to i we need to provide here and I'll be giving J plus plus. So here, uh, uh, as we observe that uh, the first row is having one element, second row is having two elements. Uh, so the column values are changing here. So the inside for loop is denoting the column value. The outside loop is denoting the row values. So what we need to do? I'll be writing uh, system dot out dot println and I'll be passing j. So let's see if the first pattern is printed here or not. Let's run this code. So as we see println will print every value in a new line. So uh, we'll make some changes here. I'll be removing the println from inner loop and uh, I'll be adding another println uh, uh, out in the outer loop so that after completion of every row, we need to print a new line character and then start uh, working on a new row. So let's see if this code is working. So as we see here, the pattern one is printed correctly. So the outer for loop is helpful for the rows and the inner for loop is for columns, column values, column value navigation. So the first pattern is achieved now. So what we can do, we'll uh, just put it like pattern one. And I'm going to copy paste the same code, but we'll make some changes here. So this is pattern two. Um, and here in the pattern two, if you observe that, uh, so every row elements, all the values are same. So rows will be denoted by i. So we need to be passing the i value here in case of sys system dot out dot print. System dot out dot print will be printing the value. And after printing, there won't be any new line character. If we take the print ln, right? So there will be a new line character after the print statement is terminated. So let's run this code and check. 
so if i maximize this so pattern one is printing one two three four five and pattern two is printing the value same value is printing uh, based on the row uh, if second row two is printing two times third row three is printing three times fourth row four is printing four times fifth row five times so here what we have done the first pattern uh, is that uh, we are passing the column value j and rows is denoted by i so if the if the uh, column value need to change then we need to be passing the j value in the print statement and if the row value need to change uh, when the pattern is getting printed we need to be passing i so these are the two patterns that we are covering in this particular video hope you like the video thank you for watching uh, please like share and subscribe if you like the content thank you